Hi, I'm Howard Wilson. Uh, I'm the director of the York Plasma Institute, where we deal with all things plasma. Um, plasmas have a whole range of uh, uh, exciting applications, but I'm just going to look at just one, which is the application of plasmas in fusion energy. So as you're all probably aware, um, it's very important that we identify a new, fo uh, new source of energy. Fossil fuels are very efficient, very effective, very economic way of producing energy, but they have a limited, there's a limited amount of fuel that's available, a uh, limited amount of resource in the world. Um, and also the um, greenhouse gases that they produce, we think are probably damaging to the world. So there's a real need to identify a new form of, uh, of energy. Fusion energy in principle can replace fossil fuels, coal, oil, gas, etc. Um, but it's very challenging. And, and one way to think about how challenging it might be is to look at our, our fusion reactor that we have at the moment, and that's the sun. So we, we know that fusion works because we know the, that the sun glows and produces energy and uh, it works very well. Uh, has worked for many years. It's actually a very inefficient fusion reactor. Um, if it wasn't, it would long since burnt up all its fuel, i.e. The, the hydrogen, basically, that's in the sun. Um, and we wouldn't be here today because the sun would have gone out. So we not only have to reproduce the conditions in the sun to, to get fusion energy, but if we want efficient fusion energy, we have to go beyond the conditions in the sun. And in particular, we have to reach temperatures 10 times that of the centre of the sun. Now, if you take a gas, any gas, say the gas in this room, and start to heat it up, then the individual molecules will break up uh, into the atoms and then keep heating it. The electrons will start to come off the, the central ion in the atom and you'll end up with this soup, this, this gas, ionized gas with individual ions and individual electrons. They still feel each other, but the electrons and the ions are no longer bound to each other. And we call that the plasma state. And this is why plasma physics is so important for fusion, 